and welcome to the workshop at the Concord Free Public Library. My name is Christy and I'm here today to show you how to safely operate the workshop's 3 Doodler 3D pens. The workshop offers two models of 3D pens, the Start Plus and the Create Plus. Let's start by deciding which one is right for you. Our Start Plus pens are a great choice for beginners and younger makers. To reduce the risk of burns, they feature a silicone coated nozzle tip and use a proprietary low temp filament. They're also wireless, which makes them easier to manage, but it does mean they may run out of charge if you're printing for a long time. Our Start Plus pens are a trained maker's tool, so you can use them as soon as you finish this video. Our Create Plus pens are a good choice for teen and adult makers who are working on more advanced projects. The interchangeable nozzles on these pens get just as hot as real 3D printer extruders, so makers should be prepared to handle them carefully and safely. The plastic used in these pens is a more typical plastic, which makes it a better fit for complex three-dimensional designs. Finally, the Create Plus pens require the use of a power cord, which can be more difficult to manage, but also means you won't run out of battery mid-print, though you should give the pen at least a 30-minute rest after every two hours of continuous printing. Because our Create Plus pens get so hot, they're an expert maker's tool. So in addition to watching this video, each and every maker operating one of our Create Plus pens will need to complete a safety waiver before use. Minors under the age of 18 will need a parent or guardian to help them complete this form, which you can do entirely online at cfpl.info slash waiver. Additionally, makers under the age of 10 must be accompanied by another maker at least 13 years of age. Still not sure which pen you want to use? We'll cover the operation of both models in this video. Let's start with the safety notes. No matter which pen you choose, the nozzle will get hot enough to melt plastic and potentially cause burns. The plastic exiting the pens can also stay hot for about five seconds. So be sure to handle the pen carefully, be mindful of other makers around you, and turn the pen off whenever it isn't in use. In the very unlikely event of a fire, immediately evacuate the building and call 911. A fire extinguisher and first aid kit are also available at the workshop's front desk in case of an emergency. Due to the fumes released by some other plastics and the risk of clogs from incompatible filament, the workshop only allows the use of brand name Three Doodler Start Plus PLA filament sticks in our Start Plus pens and brand name Three Doodler Create Plus PLA filament sticks in our Create Plus pens. This means that the filament sticks for each model of pen are not interchangeable and the filament for the workshop's 3D printers is not compatible with either of our 3D pens. If this is your first time using our 3D pens, you're welcome to use a few of the workshop's filament sticks for free, but if you're using the pens on the regular or making a larger project, we ask all makers to help us keep the workshop free and accessible to everyone by either bringing their own supplies or donating to help cover the cost of the supplies they use. About a dollar for every eight filament sticks. If you bring your own filament sticks from home, be sure to keep them in their original packaging so our staff can double check that they'll be compatible with the pen you're borrowing. Okay, let's get making. First, let's take a look at how to use the Start Plus pen. Place the provided printing mat in the middle of your work surface and turn the pen on using the small orange switch on the side of the pen. An LED will glow red while the pen is preheating. When the LED changes to green, you're ready to start printing. If your pen is empty, load a filament stick into the hole at the top of the pen, then press once on the big orange button on the front of the pen to begin printing. There's no need to hold the button down as you print. When starting a new filament stick, you may need to apply a small amount of pressure to the end of the filament stick to help it catch in the gears inside the pen. Hold the 3D pen the same way you would a regular pen or pencil, but keep the nozzle just above your print surface to allow space for the plastic to exit the pen and move slowly to allow the plastic time to stick in place. If you want to print in three dimensions, allow a few centimeters of plastic to adhere to your print surface, then slowly lift your pen up. Press the big orange button once to stop the flow of plastic and wait at least 10 seconds to allow the plastic to set before starting your next line. Especially when using our Start Plus pens, you may find it easier to print several two-dimensional shapes on your print surface, then glue them together into a three-dimensional shape using additional plastic from your pen. If you'd like to change the color of plastic in the pen and you can still see the end of your current filament stick out the end of the pen, quickly press twice on the big orange button on the front of the pen to reverse the motors and gently pull the filament stick free. Press the big orange button again to resume normal operation and load your next color. To prevent clogging, don't try to unload plastic that's no longer visible out the end of the pen and be sure to trim the melted end of any partially used filament sticks with a pair of scissors before attempting to load them back into the pen. 
When you're finished printing, just turn the pen off and return it to workshop staff to be charged. Clean up your workstation and place any leftover plastic scraps in our dedicated 3D plastic recycling bin. 3D plastic can't be processed through the town's regular curbside recycling service. Now let's take a look at how to use the Create Plus pen. Just like the Start Plus pen, start by placing the provided printing mat in the middle of your work surface. Plug the power adapter into the yellow port at the top of the pen, then into a nearby outlet, taking care not to create a tripping hazard for other makers. On the side of the pen, move the switch from off to the middle position, marked PLA. An LED will glow red while the pen is preheating. When the LED changes to green, you're ready to start printing. If your pen is empty, load a filament stick into the hole at the top of the pen, then press once on either the fast or slow button on the front of the pen to begin feeding the plastic into the pen. There's no need to hold the button down as you print. You can change the printing speed at any time by pressing the appropriate button once or pause printing by pressing the button for the speed you have activated for a second time. Just like the Start Plus pens, you can press either button quickly twice to reverse the motors and remove a filament stick. Again, to prevent clogs, don't attempt to remove filament that is no longer sticking out of the back of the pen and be sure to trim partially melted filament sticks with scissors before loading them back into the pen. The Create Plus pen comes with a variety of printing nozzles to create different textures as you print. If you'd like to change the nozzle on your pen, start by making sure the pen is on and fully preheated, but not actively printing. Never attempt to change the nozzle while the pen is turned off. Place a heat safe dish at your workspace to hold the hot nozzle once it's removed. Carefully place the tip of the pen in the hex bit at the bottom of the nozzle storage tube and turn counterclockwise to loosen it. Drop the hot nozzle directly into the heat safe dish at your workstation to cool. Now place the new nozzle you'd like to use into the hex bit and slowly screw it clockwise onto the pen, being very careful to line up the threads. Stop tightening as soon as you feel resistance. Over tightening will damage the pen. Now you can resume printing. When you're finished printing with the Create Plus pen, turn it off and check in with workshop staff to find a safe place to leave it to cool. Don't return any hot pens or nozzles to their plastic containers. Clean up your workstation and place any leftover plastic scraps in our dedicated 3D plastic recycling bin. 3D plastic can't be processed through the town's regular curbside recycling service. Congratulations, you're now a trained or an expert maker. If you want to learn more about everything our 3D pens can do, visit 3doodler.com for more information and tutorials direct from the manufacturer. The workshop is made possible by the generous support of the Concord Free Public Library Corporation, a nonprofit organization supported by makers like you. Learn more about all the corporation does to make our library awesome and how you can help at cfplcorp.org. And if you just can't get enough making, be sure to check out the workshop's full library of maker tools at cfpl.info slash workshop. Bye-bye.